guys, Samantha from Jessica Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to soften up your hard polymer clay. And so I've got some cernet here that is fairly hard and so I want to show you how to soften that up. And so you have two options essentially. You can either use a liquid clay, which is my preferred uh, method. You can use any brand that you want, just make sure that it is translucent. Um, or you can use baby oil and that works well as well but I prefer the liquid clay because instead of um, weakening your clay you are strengthening it to a certain degree by adding the liquid clay whereas the baby oil uh, weakens it slightly but if you don't have any liquid clay the baby oil works just fine so don't worry about using it but if you're using the liquid clay always make sure that you are using a translucent brand or if you have some black polymer clay that you want to firm up, that you want to soften up, um, you can use black liquid clay and vice versa if you have white polymer clay, use white liquid clay. But a translucent liquid clay is a good all rounder. So this can be a little bit of a messy process. So uh, if you don't want it to be messy, again, baby oil works fairly well, but it's a little bit slower. Baby oil, you can mix it in like this, but also what you can do is you can just leave, you can take your polymer clay essentially just like I've done over here uh, and then pop it into a um, into a little container for roughly around a week and the baby oil will have absorbed into the clay and it will be nice and soft, you'll just mix to, need to mix it up a bit. Okay, now I'm just going to roll this and I don't recommend using a pasta machine if you have one in these beginning stages. Grab a roller and do it with your roller first. You can do it with your pasta machine but it makes it very messy and it can gunk up your pasta machine and so generally I prefer to just get it started with my roller, get the pieces to at least stick together and then I will use my pasta machine. So again, if you have arthritis or you just don't feel like having to go through this messy process, baby oil will work pretty well. But this is a lot quicker. Okay, so I've got that all stuck together, so now I'm just going to quickly mix this in my pasta machine. Okay, and here's the clay now that I've mixed it, and it's a lot less brittle, but I still want to add a little bit more liquid clay just to soften it up some more. And it's completely up to you how soft you want it. You can make it very soft or you can make it uh, fairly normal or you can make it just below brittle. Completely up to you. Depending on how much liquid clay you add, that is going to um, dictate how uh, soft your piece is. So I'm probably going to make it a little too soft and then I will show you in the next video how to firm it up if you go too far. So I'm just quickly going to go through this process again of mixing the liquid clay into the clay and then um, we'll see how soft it is at the end of that. Alright, so we started with really brittle clay like this where you can see it just kind of breaks when you fold and it's really brittle so it's kind of snaps and you can't get those nice clean edges because it's just going to break to this lovely soft pliable clay that if you fold it it's not going to break see it's nice and clean um, it's got a little bit of stretch to it not too much stretch so this is ideal definitely but let's say that you wanted to uh, firm it up and you didn't want it to be this soft. I'll be showing that in the next video so stay tuned there will be another video after this one showing you how to firm up your soft polymer clay uh, so definitely look out for that video and if this video was helpful to you please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.